Hello, welcome to One Man's Faith today. As you can tell there, I'm Neil Owen. Glad to have you with me. And hey, we're just going to have fun. We're going to look at God's Word, and we're going to just uh, glean some things uh, as, we, as we continue our study. We're in Galatians, but we've taken kind of a side rabbit trail, uh, and we're looking at uh, the seven areas of influence. And so we're going to continue on with that. But to make this a legal meeting, let's go ahead and look at Galatians chapter 3, verse 10 through 14, uh, and, just, and just hear what the Lord says here. For as many as are, are of the works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by all the things written in the book of the law to perform them. Now that no one is justified by the law before God is evident, for the righteous man shall live by faith. However, the law is not a faith. On the contrary, he who practices them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. In order that in Christ Jesus the blessings of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we would receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Man, there's some powerful stuff in there. We're going to come back and look at that uh, probably in a couple of weeks. But I want, to, uh, I want to continue looking. We were looking at Galatians 3, chapter 1. Galatians 3, verse 1, sorry. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Or who has put a spell over you? And we looked at the fact that, that there are seven areas of influence that influence us and we can put influence into. Now, I've heard people say, well, you know, I don't want to be involved. You know, it, it, you know I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be involved. You know, you know, it's not good. It's not good to be involved. You know, government, all these things, they're corrupt. They're, you know, you, you know they're all the devil. Well, if they are, and many are, it's because we haven't put our influence in. That's why everything is going to hell in a handbasket, because we do not influence these areas. Now, I want to show you something. That, yes, we are to be involved. Okay? I want to, I want to show you some scriptures here and see if you can follow and agree with me. John 17 this is the prayer that Jesus had. It was his, it was his kind of his last word. And he prays this prayer. And so Jesus is speaking, and he's speaking to God. In verse 13, he says, But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, so that they may have my joy made full in themselves. Listen, did you hear that? These things I speak in the world, so that they may have my joy made full in themselves. All right? He spoke into the world. He told us, hey, do what I've commanded you. In uh, uh, Matthew 28, the Great Commission, go into all the world, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. All right? He's saying here, I speak into the world, now you go. Now listen, verse 14, I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but to keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. All right, you see, we're supposed to go into the world and bring a godly influence. All right, here's another one, Mark 5. Now, in Mark 5, Jesus goes to Gadarene and he meets the demoniac. The demoniac had a thousand demons in him. As a matter of fact, he said when he asked them their name, they said, we are legion. And so he cast them out, cast them into the pigs, and the, and the pigs ran off the edge of the cliff and died. And so the town heard of it, 
And it says in verse 17 of Mark 5, and they began to implore him to leave their region. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed was imploring him that he might accompany him. And he, Jesus, did not let him. But he said to him, Go home to your people and report to them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in Decapolis what great things Jesus had done for him, and everyone was amazed. The man wanted to go with Jesus. Jesus said, no, don't come out of where you're from. You go back and you tell them what has happened. Have an influence on their lives. And, and lastly, in, in Matthew chapter 5, we've heard this, but I want to apply it to this because I think, it, I think it's, 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 uh, it fits in. Verse 14, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand that it gives light to all who are in the house. You see, all three of these speak to our being an influence into the world. Okay? We are to take what has happened to us and use it. Now, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with it being, can I say, covert. You know, you don't have to be totally open and brazen with your faith like, hey, I know better than you do. No. But use, use what you know of the world and what, I mean, uh, what you know of the word and what you know God wants you to do and use it wherever you are. Use it in your family. Use it in education when you teach when you teach people, when you teach your kids. Use it with the media. Use it in arts and entertainment. Use it in business. I missed one. Family, well, there's, the, there's religion, family, government. Use it, use it in government. Listen, I, and I showed you this when we, when we were talking about government. Our government was set up on Christian principles and values. We need to bring back that influence into these, you know, into that area and into all these areas. Okay? So the seven areas, and that's what we're looking at. I just mentioned them, I'll mention them again. Religion, family, education, government, media, arts and entertainment, and business. Okay, those are the seven, the, the, sometimes they're called the mountains of culture, the areas of influence, uh, the seven mountain mandate. These are all words for that. And some believe that, that it's wrong, that we shouldn't be. Well, I just showed you scripturally that I believe we are to be, that God wants us to, that God wants his influence into the world. We are to influence the world and not have them influence us. We're not to make them religious. We're to, we're to get, get these areas and people to see who the Lord is and what He has done and what He has given us. All right? Now, Last week we looked we start, we we looked at media, which are which is news sources, radio, TV, like what we're on right now, uh, newspapers, internet, you know the news, blogs, things like that. That's all media. That's a, and when we talk mountain, we're talking an area of influence, and what our adversary wants to do is he wants to put people in the top of that mountain that have his saying that follow him, whether they know it or not. They're just being of the world. And by being of the world, they are being an influence of Satan. Okay? It is a prophetic voice to the nation. It is to proclaim uh, and expose unrighteousness. 
It's to inform us of current events, but it doesn't have a biblical worldview. It shows it from its own perspective, the world. And so, therefore, it brings hopelessness and despair. And it, 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 it's used to bring us down and to bring a demonic influence into our lives. And that's why we need to learn to change it, to accept it for what it really is. Look at it uh, uh, in the way that it is right now truly presented. But we can come in and, and we can have an influence and bring out the right type of news. news. News that is truthful but has hope that shows that, yes, that's not the way it has to be. It just, you know, these things just don't happen and, oh, well, we got to put up with it. Go lock yourselves in your house. No, that's not what it's all about. That's not what it's all about. And so as we, as we start, as we keep going here, let me just pray over you just before we go on break. Father, I thank you. God, help us to be your people of influence in all these areas. Lord, open our eyes and our hearts to hear what you're saying. Help us to see the truth. Expose the negativity and the darkness, God. In the name of Jesus, expose it so that we can see what is truly right. Lord, I pray you would go out over the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, may your Holy Spirit touch lives and influence people. May it bring health, healing, wholeness. May it bring hope. May it bring righteousness into these homes that are listening. And I praise you, Father, and thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, we got to take a break, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 